I know, I've been missing again, but your boy is back and I'm actually back with a book recommendations video today because I've read, I haven't read a lot to be honest over the past couple of months, but what I have read have been really enjoyable. So I've got another book recommendations. It's been a very, very long time since I made my last one. So I've just picked out six trusty dusty books and I'm really looking forward to sharing them with you, especially because today is a special day. So shameless plug just to start off. For those who don't know, I run a small micro publishing company and we have a book release today and that is for Catching the Stars by Kayla Keenan. Now this is one of the books in this book recommendation, so I thought I'd just jump straight into it because I'm thirsty. This book is fabulous, and obviously I wouldn't publish it if it wasn't fabulous. This follows Jayin, a murderous witch, Maddox, a boy accused of murder, and what Kayla Keenan describes as, as bad life choices ensue. This is a fantasy definitely for those who really enjoy the Six of Crows, the Truth Witch vibe. Um, I know that Lee Bardugo is a massive inspiration for Kayla, so I am super duper excited to be able to share this with you, because I do think it's perfect for fans. You are going to be able to see some very unique magic in here, and a very awesome fantasy fantastical world which is danger around every corner. There's dark things lurking in shadows, murders, accusations of murders, prisons, escape and adventure and it's about these two unlikely characters coming together. If that's like something up your street you should definitely check it out because it is out today worldwide on all paperback stores and ebook for Kindle and Kindle Unlimited so yes go and check this out if you want to know more about it the Goodreads page is linked down below but massive happy book birthday to Kayla for Catching Stars. This covers everything. Next I want to talk about a book that um, I think everyone would have read by now but if you haven't pick it up it's Children of Blood and Bone by Tommy Adiemi. This book blew me away. In fact, you can blame this book for the reading slump I have been in since the beginning of March. I actually read this alongside Christine from We Reader and oh my god, it was so much fun to read with a friend and experience a story like this together. But this follows um, about a world where magic was taken away, but now it is coming back and uh, drama ensues. This has an amazing cast of characters. The world is so diverse. It is set in a Western African inspired fantasy so it is just so incredible. It's worth all the hype. It's worth all the good reviews. And if you're going to pick one book up this year, it needs to be Children of Blood and Bone. I really think Tommy Adeyemi is going to be the next big thing. And also, can I just give a shout out to her brother who is ridiculously talented and very good looking. <laughs> and his music's a bop and I bop along to it all the time. So go and check him out as well. And yes, check out Children of Blood and Bone. Thumbs up if you read this. It's so, so good. So good. A book that has recently come out is The Smoke Thief. This is the English edition by Sally Green and you'll know I love Sally Green. In fact, stay tuned because in a few days time I have a Sally Green video coming up where I actually go to London. I meet her. Well, I've met her a few times but we go and do some filming. We go to an event. We go for dinner and go for drinks and it's going to be a lot of fun. But this is very much the YA Game of Thrones following a very cool different um, cast of characters. There's demons in here. There's smoke hunting and there is some very crazy situations going on between kingdoms. If this sounds like something up your street you should definitely check this out. I really enjoyed it and it is very different from the dark oh hello half bad it's very different from half bad and that series but it equally is very you do get the Sally Green vibe but I just love her take on fantasy it is so great and unique and if you want to see a cover without the, the white background it looks like this but obviously it's in white in the UK I just love this book so so much Sally is such a talented writer like who can describe what it is is about a princess about a soldier about a hunter about a traitor and about a thief and how they are all going to come together by the end of the book I literally cannot wait for the next one. It was such an incredible start to the series and I recommend it for everybody to check out. Literally everybody. She, she's so good. Love her. A book that I love which is like a sci-fi in space hunker games is the first book in a series called Nixia by Scott Rentek. I um, hope I said that right. This book is so good. I really like sci-fi things. I really do like things set in space but this was just so unique about these teens being plucked from their lives to go on this chance to go to a new planet where they're going to be going to do some tasks for this big corporation but to actually make it onto the planet they've got to survive tasks first and they are on like a leaderboard a points board and it's about them going through their struggles to stay on the top of that leaderboard so they can definitely go onto this new planet and change the lives for themselves and their families because it's a very selfless act that they're doing this for they all want to just get a better life for their families and drama ensues chaos ensues aliens spaceships space drama space alien space drama space <laughs> so good i actually recently read the sequel the proof of the sequel which was equally incredible but yeah nixia if you want to have that like hunger games but in space vibe you should definitely check this out i like any book which has like a point system in it so this one blew my mind uh, read it 
I would can I give myself like a shameless plug and say everybody should go read Cloaked in Shadow, which is the book that I've written and published, and it's about gay elves, it's about dragon shifters, shapeshifters, druids, evil creatures, or the drama. And the sequel is coming out June 12th. And the audiobook for this one's coming out June 18th. I'll leave the links down below. And last but not least, I want to recommend this adult fiction one by Joe Hill called The Fireman. Now I picked this up on a whim because it sounded really cool. It's basically like a dystopian, uh, a post-apocalyptic world where people just combust and it's then about this main character and nurse. She becomes pregnant and all she wants to do is survive. She doesn't want this illness which she has to destroy her and her baby and it's about her going on this quest of survival and she kind of meets some cult-like groups and some very crazy people. Basically this post-apocalyptic world brings out the worst in everybody but you also have really cool characters that can kind of control the fire that burns through their body and it is a big read and what I didn't know was Joe Hill was Stephen King's son so I really enjoyed reading this one and seeing like a new perspective on like a thriller and it's really getting me into the adult fiction genre again so I recommend this for anyone that wants to kind of try adult fiction it is very vulgar and it has got some deep dark scenes so please be wary if you're a young reader don't go into this with like a closed mind because there are things in here which might be deemed inappropriate for you so I would definitely check beforehand but I really enjoyed it and it was very unique this idea of people combusting and anything post-apocalyptic really tickles my pickle so you know I love this so there you have it they're all the books don't forget to go check out Catching Stars today on the release and again happy release day to Catching Stars fantasy witches murder oh all the good stuff and if you want to check out any of these books mentioned they'll be linked down below and thanks so much for watching I'm back I'm finally back I've got videos coming out so stay tuned and just a premise if you're going to Yalk this year your boy's going he has a table, he'll be selling books, he'll be giving away books, he'll be giving away arcs, so stay tuned for more updates on that. Bye! Thanks for watching! Bye-bye!